Today we're talking Facebook retargeting ads or commonly referred to as remarketing ads and I'm going to show you what they are, how to use them, and how they save you so much money. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Like many of the other videos in this channel, this particular video, aka topic, was inspired by commonly asked questions that I receive in my social media accounts, my emails, and my texts. And one of the most common questions that keeps coming up is, well, how do you do retargeting ads? There seems to be this misconception that retargeting ads are specific types of ads that can only be used in a certain situation. Well, I wanna dispel that today because it's not necessarily a certain type of ad. Realistically, any type of ad can be a retargeting ad. Because you see, retargeting ads are nothing more than showing your ad to somebody that has already seen your ad in the past. You're just retargeting them. So in our screen share today, I'm gonna to show you what you need in order to do retargeting, and then I'm gonna show you a very simple way to apply the retargeting strategies so you can see a higher return on your Facebook ad. All right, so here we are in my Facebook group where you're gonna find me a good amount of the time in. So if you have any questions, either let me know in the comment section down below or hop on over to the group and ask me there. That is um, the what really the best way to get a hold of me. Email gets kind of backed up, so if um, you have any questions, the comment section here or a little bit more urgency, find me over in the group. Now, why am I starting here? Well, one of the biggest criticisms that I get whenever I do the tutorials is, well, you start at the ads manager, but I don't even know how to get there. And you know what? That's fair. That's absolutely fair. So I just wanted to start from a more neutral place, and I'll show you how to get to the ads manager. You can either go to create and then go to the ad, or you can go here, go to manage ads, and then you're gonna go into the ads manager. So you have this, um, you have the toolbar right here. All you have to do is go here, go to the ads manager, and there you are. So you're at the ads manager. So this is typically where I would say, now that you're in the ads manager, let's begin. So we're, um, we're here. Now we need to do one quick thing before we actually get to the actual retargeting and that is going over to the audiences and creating what we need to create so we're going to go over here to those nine dots that you see we're going to go to audiences and once you get to the audiences you're going to have the ability to create multiple audiences so i'm going to hit custom audiences real quick all right so we're going to pause right here what are we doing as a reminder retargeting is nothing more than showing your ad again to the same person that has viewed your ad once. So you're retargeting, you're remarketing, so showing your ad, whether it's the same or a different ad, to the same audience that saw your ad in the first place. And the way to do that is by creating a custom audience, an audience that is exclusive to you, an audience that's not gonna be able to be replicated by your competition or anybody else. This is the audience that you cultivate. So whenever you run ads, just in general, you're gonna be running ads to a cold audience, but you have the ability to capture the people that engage with your ad in some capacity and remarket to them. So I'm gonna show you the three that you need to focus on, the three custom audiences that you need to focus on in order to do retargeting at a high level. So as you can see here, you have websites, customer list, and the list goes on, but we're not gonna go through all of these. I'm just gonna show you the three that you need to focus on. Website, you have the ability to track the people that visit, visit your website in the past six months. So you're able to go back six months in time or as soon as your pixel is installed there, you have the ability to go and target those people that saw your website at some point in time. Now one big driver to that or the big driver to that is you need to have your facebook pixel installed on your website and i'll have a, and i have a video on how to do that link down below and at the end of this video showing you how to set up your pixel on your website on your landing pages so your website is a way to create a custom audience six months worth of custom audience that you're able to retarget to them so you're able to remarket to them so that's the first one that I want you to um, to inst to really get a hold of because it's going to save you a lot of money. 
and then the customer list. You're able to upload your own database onto Facebook and remarket to the people. So you're able to, to market to the people that already gave you their contact information are already part of your database. So you're able to uh, run different types of ads, the same ad and be in front, of, in front of them at all times. So that's another one that I want you to look at. The one that we're gonna do today just to show you what that looks like is the Facebook page. You're able to go back 365 days from the date that they engaged with your Facebook page. So you're able to target people that um, uh, 36, uh, 365 days in time, so a year worth of people that engage with your Facebook page and many other different actions. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. So when you see add people to your audience, include people who meet any or all of the following criteria. So we're just gonna go with any, and then we're gonna have the page that we want to remarket to and you see the type of types of activities that you can select it uh, based off of your page. So you see everyone who engaged with your page, anyone who visited your page, people who engaged with any post or ad, people who clicked on any call to action. So you're able to whittle down the actions in relation to your Facebook page. So that is super powerful. So you're able to dial in the, the actions that the people took on your page. So whenever you're running ads, you're able to isolate those those um, those actions and remarket to them accordingly. So we're not gonna create this right now because I have several in this test account already. So as you can see, hi, Mary Sendis Realtor, um, business page, seven days. Over here, business page, 60 days. Uh, over here, business page, 30 days, 90 days, 80 days. So it's that stair step. So I can speak to people um, in relation to how long they um, they last heard from me. So I'm able to really dial in my remarketing. So this is what you need to do. This is how you prepare to do remarketing the correct way. Now let's head back over to the ads manager and I'll show you where you need to put these custom audiences in order to do remarketing. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to the ads manager. Okay, so we're not gonna go through and create an entire ad account. I'm gonna show you how you can actually do the retargeting on campaigns that you already have going. So I'll just go into this one. This one seems to have pulled in some results previously. So I'm gonna click on that. I was at the campaign level. Now I'm at the ad set level. So as a reminder, the campaign level is the objective, what you're hoping to achieve. The ad set is who you're targeting, who you want to actually see your ads. And then the ad is what you're what you're showing to your target audience. So that's how it breaks down. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna edit something to show you what it looks like. I'm gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And then you see the custom audience field populate. So when you click there, you're gonna see different custom audiences that were already created. So the same list that you saw on the other screen, so a couple of seconds ago, you see them populate here. So you're gonna go over to the audiences first, create your custom audiences in accordance to what you wanna do, whether that's your website, your database, your lead forms, your views, your Instagram page, your Facebook page, like what we just did, and then come back here in your ad creation and use these for your benefit. So you would target people, let's just say in the past 14 days, people that have engaged with your with your page, you would select the geography that you're targeting. And then here I suggest that you don't do anything else with targeting at this point because you don't wanna over improve or over filter your retargeting ads. That's a good way to have your ads not show up. So you don't wanna do too much with that. And then this is the only time that I condone or I suggest that you go with automatic placements because at this point, you brought a unique audience to Facebook that you have the budget to market to those people and you wanna give, uh, you wanna be in front of all of those people in as many different places as possible. So this means that you're gonna be on Instagram, this means that you're gonna be an audience network, you're gonna be in different places that you wouldn't traditionally be in when it comes to the placement. So the way that I have this set up right now is this was to a cold audience and I only wanted to market on the news feed because this was a large audience for what I was looking to achieve. So 
once you select that, um, you would go with, I'm sorry, you would go to automatic placements and you're off and running. So let me X out of this and close out of that. So let's just say you wanted to do that with your custom audience. And that's actually what I suggest. Um, or I'm sorry, you wanted to do that with an ad set that you already had. However, I don't want you to mix data. So what I was doing right there, that was incorrect. I was just showing you how to edit. If I was really going to turn this campaign back on, I wouldn't make the edits like you saw me do there and then just flip the switch. What I would do would be duplicate. I would duplicate that ad set from the ad set level. I would hit duplicate and then that's when I would do, oops, it saved it. <laughs> well, and then that's when I would put the custom audience and then do that change that I was mentioning and then publish it. So that's when I would do the changes. I wouldn't, um, I'm doing a good job messing this all up. <laughs> so I need to go back there and edit that. But um, I would duplicate here again and then I would select whatever I wanted to retarget. Now the ad can be the same ad, you're just gonna dial in the audience, or it could be a different ad. You may have a progression of the sell cycle. So you may be leading people from an introduction to um, you know, just real estate in general, and then you can be a little bit more, more dialed in and focus their attention on what you're looking for, whether that's buyers or sellers, investors, and what have you. So don't overcomplicate it. Retargeting is, means nothing more than just showing your ad to the same people that have seen your ads in the past. Don't let people fool you, trick you, or deceive you. They're not that difficult. They're not a specific type of ad. It's just a type of action. Well, now that we know how to do retargeting, it's time to level up. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.